Good morning. We're going to talk today about uh, fatigue, identifying fatigue, uh, not only in yourself but in other people, because we all have contact with other people. We work on crews where uh, doing very, very difficult and uh, arduous physical activity. Uh, hanging iron is something that takes a lot out of you. So fatigue becomes an issue. So uh, today I want to talk with you about being able to identify fatigue both in yourself and in someone else. Uh, fatigue's the condition of being physically or mentally tired or exhausted. Extreme fatigue can lead to uh, an uncontrolled and involuntary shutdown of the brain. So uh, here are some things for you to look for in yourself and in your co-workers to help identify fatigue. Uh, we all need each other's help with this because in mo most cases uh, those of us who are under significant fatigue can't necessarily identify it in themselves. So it's something that you may be able to do yourself but certainly you should be able to do it not just for yourself but for someone else primarily. Uh, so when someone is experiencing extreme fatigue, what happens? Well, their job performance will slow. Uh, they're not as quick on the uptake as normal, perhaps. Uh, their quality may reduce. So uh, they normally do much better work than what you are seeing from them at the minute. Uh, they can't perhaps recall their last thought, uh, the conversation uh, that they just had a few minutes ago, what they did a minute ago. Uh, they may have real difficulties recalling those things. Uh, they have trouble solving problems. Things get to be overwhelming very quickly and very easily and they really are struggling with the problem solving part of the job. They make errors, not just normal errors. We all make errors from time to time, but these are uh, significant errors. Uh, they have a near miss accident. Uh, they have trouble focusing. Uh, maybe they're just walking around with their head uh, hung over. They just head drops. They just can't hold their head up. Uh, they can't stop yawning. Uh, when you're fatigued or your co-workers are fatigued, you're going to make errors in judgment. They're going to make errors in judgment. So this is why we need to be able to identify fatigue. We need to be consciously aware of what other people are experiencing and if at all possible, we need to be able to try to remedy that uh, so that we don't have errors that lead to uh, critical incidences where people get uh, injured or killed simply because uh, they were overly fatigued or they were dealing with someone else who was also overly fatigued. So bear this in mind. Uh, I know this is a little briefer than usual, but uh, I wanted to put this out there because we all work a lot of hours and sometimes it can be very physically draining. There's a lot of other things that go with that stuff that's going on at home. So be conscious of it. Uh, be able to identify it in yourself if at all possible, certainly in someone else so that you can be a help to them. Thank you.